The Spyglass production run finally arrived a couple months later than I had originally planned. I'm very excited for this run, especially to see how everyone else likes the Yaya. This design series started in June of 2021, so it's been a long time coming to this point. The 200 Spyglasses came in a single big box separated out into plastic trays, each Yaya wrapped in tissue paper. Unpacking them is straightforward, but first I wanted to find one of each colorway so I could take initial photos from my team, so they could each pick the one that they wanted. Some of my team is very far away as the mail flies, so I like to get those out the door ASAP. I'm still learning how to take good white box photos, so I ended up retaking the full set several times. The results were used primarily for the Mark 1 website, but also for the Instagram feed. I had a local friend visit to help test and package the yo-yos. This is the longest and most tedious part of the process, so it's great to have help. Each yo-yo is tested for vibe, inspected for andizing and other visible defects, and if required, the bearing is swapped out for a better one. Each spyglass is packed into a small printed carton with string, stickers, and packing material to keep it from sliding around. These finally get organized into shelving in my office. After the whole run was graded, packaged, and counted, I contacted retailers to get their orders. I have existing business relationships with a bunch of different yo-yo stores, so they responded quickly and I was able to get most of the spy glasses out the door. I kept most of the B grades and some of the A grades from my own storefront. I also sent a couple review units to some of my favorite yo-yo YouTubers. Some of the reviews are already posted, so be sure to check those out. Meanwhile, it was time to prepare an announcement for the release of the yo-yo. I usually like to release in the evenings on Friday or Saturday so that I don't have work or other things getting in the way. I finished editing all the white box photos and my team captain, Connor, planned a schedule for announcing all the colorways. I also had a few other small tasks to wrap up, uh, creating promotional materials, graphics, uh, copy for storefronts, and so on. I worked on all that while the other members of my team were busy posting tricks on social media and so on just the standard yo-yo company stuff. Thank you so much for watching along. It's been a lot of fun sharing the whole spyglass development process with all of you. If you get a chance to try the spyglass, let me know how you like it.